for sexual gratification, you violated a four-year-old and a six-year-old. This is 70-year-old Terry McFadden, co-owner of a daycare with his wife Carol, which was also his place of abuse. After being entrusted with the care of a four-year-old and a six-year-old, he went on to do the worst. In this video, we're taking you through the interrogation of Terry McFadden and how he crumbled and confessed in an interrogation. In April of 2019, two sisters aged four and six who shall remain nameless came home from daycare and complained to their parents about a child care worker. They described moments of, let's call it unwanted touching. So the parents complained to the police, and based on the timestamps and description from the girls, they were able to narrow it down to Terry McFadden. On the 4th of August, 2019, he was brought in for interrogation, but he was not charged as the police didn't have physical evidence. These interrogations are much more brutal to pursue, considering that the suspect has the choice of being silent and can leave whenever he wants. So the detectives have to be smart enough to win his trust and get him to slowly spill the beans. Okay. And it's just, just, pick up myself. just you and your wife. Is just me and my wife. Okay. And, uh, yes, and a uh, cat. I'm sorry? <laughs> and a cat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and our daughters have, are grown, as they say. In, okay. Uh, the house. So nobody else stays there permanently, and from my understanding, your wife watches uh, numerous children throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do, and um, I do help her with that. And okay. Is, um, various duties, like, like lunch duty, we were just taking care of there. Okay. So. Just get, making lunch, pretty much, and... Provide it to the kids and whatnot. And just yeah, make it you know, just sort of wrangling the kids. And, okay. And <coughs> How many typically are at the house? Uh, well, children? we currently have four. All right. <clears throat> so, just to be upfront with you, um, what Children's Services forwarded us is a report, and it's regarding the. How did you say that last? Um, it's regarding a uh, and her sister. How would you describe your relationship with her parents? With their parents? Yeah. Very good. With, okay. With all the parents. Have you known them a while? We've uh, known them since started coming okay. as a baby. Okay, so and over then, seven years then? Over, yeah, so we inherited the other two kids, as it were, and yes, uh, okay. are, are really nice nice people. Okay. And, uh, you guys know them pretty well? Mm hmm Okay. In the beginning, he said that his wife runs the daycare operations and he only helps. Either he's too good at admin work of the daycare, or he just has a personal interest vested in these kids. How would you describe your day-to-day uh, -day interaction with the children? I mean, is it your wife, she's the one who's interacting with the children, and do, are you separate, or do you help? I know you said you helped out, but I mean, in what way? Like I said, one big thing is just getting lunches together and, and eating lunch, but... Um, I interact with the kids, watch them well, because after lunch there's a routine where Carol takes each one upstairs to, to nap. Mm -hmm. And so that leaves the other ones downstairs and I have to sort of have to make sure that they are behaving themselves. Okay. Because they all tend to get rather rambunctious, of course. Especially the little one, you're right, he gets into thing, everything. So okay. I, I, I watch them all to make sure that... Does he take naps? She doesn't go upstairs and take naps. She lays down on the couch sometimes. Uh, we try to get her to lay down on the couch. She doesn't want to go upstairs, which okay. is fine. She figures she's older. You know, mm -hmm. She's the oldest of the group. Okay. And so um, she lays down and uh, I'll watch the TV. Okay. Um, what about your interaction with Sarah? I know you said that she's, she doesn't go there very often. Just occasionally. What's occasionally? Just a rough estimate. Every okay, week. well, okay, sometimes her mom can't pick her up after school, so I pick her up after school and she comes to our house for about an hour until and that's her dad. Okay. Yeah. Um, sometimes if a school has a, um, a snow day, mm -hmm. uh, she'll come and stay with us. While he describes the interaction, notice that his hands stay either folded or rubbing nervously and his voice has a slight trepidation in describing certain parts, like the girl's description. He's clearly anxious about being in a police interrogation, but the only reason that the police aren't jumping straight to the questioning is because they want him to loosen up. Once he's open and composed enough to talk about the issue, he will forget that he's here voluntarily and can choose to stop talking. So, do you have any idea what the what any type of what this is about? What any type of allegation there would be that we would be here needing to talk to you? Mm, I'd rather you tell me. Do you have an idea though? 
I don't, don't know. Okay. I, I'm, I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm guessing it's complaint from the Lapivas, perhaps. Okay. No, what 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 the nature of the complaint would be? Do you the have any nature idea of the that complaint. something happened that, that you remember or anything like that, do you know? Um, I... Mm, I'd rather you told me okay. what, what the, the, complaint, the complaint was. Okay. The complaint is sexual in nature. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you... I can tell that did you expect me to say that? Because it uh, kind of seemed like it. Um, this this is time to get it all out there. You know, just tell us what what happened, so we 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 can follow up accordingly. Okay. Okay. Can you tell us what happened? Um, well, I know. Just uh, most recently, Friday, when uh, Jen came up to in to pick up, uh, <coughs> she was naked from the waist down, which she ripped. She had just torn off her, or took, taken off her pants, which, uh, again, kids that age sometimes do. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, and then she started running around naked. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, so we found her underwear over here and her pants over there and her mom put them back on her. So she, she saw her running around naked. Um, uh, before that, we had been sitting on the couch, and she had been climbing all over me, uh -huh. uh, just as uh, like, well, a game that she uh, climbed up behind me and then went over, just just rolled over, you know, like gymnastics kind of a thing, and, and on, onto the floor and then rolled over and when was we did that again. Just uh, it was also Friday before that, okay. but we did that for a bunch of times. I was just sort of sitting there going, "Oh, we stop," and then suddenly she pulled her pants down and did that. <sighs> so you know, come on, put your pants back on. So put the pants back on. Then she and then and then suddenly you know she took them off all together. All together. And, and so we stopped playing that game. Uh, and I got up and walked around, but uh, and it was about that time that her mom came. Okay. Uh, I don't think her mom saw us playing that game. I hope. Okay. But uh, that might have been, uh, been something that she uh, saw. Not, you know, is there that, anything else? Not, uh, not person is really a touchy feely, cuddly kind of a kid, mm -hmm. and she always wants to climb on me, and and uh, she wants me to hold her or pick her up. You know. And carry her around, so I do that, you know. I don't, uh, and so, or she'll, you know, play on me as, a, as we're sitting on the couch mm -hmm. and on my lap and and whatever. Or sometimes I try to get her to quiet down. I just hold her on my lap and cuddle. Okay. Just, just, just Would she be and clothed? <coughs> and she's clothed, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. And so, yes, yeah, always clothed, but uh, just cuddling. We do, so we do cuddle clothes. Okay. And sitting on the couch, I don't know. Okay. Um, now, when you guys went, when she was climbing all over you, was she clothed, fully clothed? Uh, most of the times, until she took, she she pulled her pants down and went over me, and I realized I saw, you know, mm -hmm. she was it was different time to hear. Mm -hmm. um, and so then, then, then pulled back up, and then she did it again, and then she did it again, and um, when she was running around after that, she pulled her pants all the way down, took them off, and then. Started, I said, yeah, okay, no, no. So then she started running around the house uh, that way for a few minutes. Uh, I got up uh, the uh, computer and I went over to help and watched her. And there she was without pants on. Where was your wife at during all this? Was she um, with her kids? I think she was doing something in the kitchen, maybe with with okay. or something. I'm, um, but anyway, so yeah, that was... Now, this is not the whole truth, but this is at least a sign that he is ready to crumble under the right amount of pressure. Now the officers need to go layer by layer, pick out the inconsistencies, and apply just enough pressure for him to get his story straight, and make sure that anything he confesses doesn't sound forced. 
Is there anything no, else that might have happened? Because something like that, we would have, we really wouldn't be investigating. You know, thing, things like that happen. Four-year-olds are going to be four-year-olds. Is there anything else that happened during that interaction that we need to talk about now? If there is, you need to tell us now that we're not going to, if we find out during the course of our investigation, it's going to be much worse. Um, this is your opportunity to get it all out on the table, let us know what happened, so we can do whatever it is that we need to do to, to move on, okay? It's your opportunity to be, to be honest and tell us what happened, okay? Did you climb on top of you with your pants off? Did you touch her in a way that wouldn't have been appropriate for a caretaker to touch um, yes. Okay. Um, what happened? Well, let me see. Smacked her bottom. Um, what? I think I, and yes, I may have kissed her bottom, so. What do you mean um, by that? Huh? What do you mean by that? You kissed her butt? Just her, her butt, yes. Okay, are you Not sure? Like that. And sure, then it it. sure it wasn't something else that you kissed? Did and. You, are you sure it wasn't something else you kissed? And I. Yes. What did you do? I did kiss down here. Okay. So you kissed vagina? Yeah, no, it was just, was just it a it, quick... Was it just a kiss, or was it... it I'm just trying to get the picture on exactly what happened, okay? This is your opportunity to tell us what happened. Did, did you use any tongue or anything like that, sir? And just so you're aware, too, um, but you got a comfort. You know, we investigate these often, I know it can be embarrassing, it can be tough to talk about, but just know that this isn't going to be heard way worse. There's a lot of things that we've heard that, you know, don't come close to this, okay? So, you know, that's, I, it might feel embarrassing to, to open up and talk about it, but just know that there's, unfortunately, there's nothing really that you can tell us that's going to be shocking, yeah. so. Did, um, did you use your tongue? just embarrassing to say, I, 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 I yes. Okay. The detectives have now gotten him to confess a part of the complaint, which was the inappropriate touching. He would honestly be the worst poker player considering how nervous he looks when he lies. His hand is fidgeting, and when he takes the glass of water in one hand, his other hand continues fidgeting. And also, luckily, the detectives are playing it well by easing in the ramifications, which is making this confession seem natural. And how long did this encounter last? Oh, just seconds. If you had to just, guess, five, ten. I mean, uh, I mean, just felt you know the the, the kissing part, just to, just uh, like that quickly. Okay. Um, and she didn't and have any underwear, underwear on, right? Um, not the, and, and then I, I, on the kiss on the bottom was just like okay. that, no, okay. not tongue. Just I mean, just mm -hmm. just what did giggle you do play? When that I, happened? Oh, giggle, laugh. Okay. And uh, she, you know, um, and then. That was, you know, and then she okay. kept her pants off and started running around. And I, I got up and, and said, okay, well, I'm, you know, can't be this way. At any point in time, did you pull out your penis at all? No. no. Okay. What was the purpose of you kissing her vagina? I don't know. Okay. Has I this, don't know. Has this happened before? No. Are you sure? No, just, yes. No. Okay. Um, I mean, she, so this, this was on Friday. This was on Friday. She just, I mean, no, okay. um, just I, I kiss her. I mean, I kiss all the kids actually. Well, that's, well, that's what um, that's what we're kind of around the face. Right. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's what that's um, what we're trying to you know see exactly what happened. If this has ever happened before, you know, if it's a one time. Bear butt was know. sticking up there, and yes, we were having I mean, giggly fun. Okay. So I kissed it. Yes. Okay. Um, um, that was the only time, I mean, you've already told us, you know, obviously mm -hmm. what happened Friday. If there's other instances, let us know so we can deal with them now. Have this, has this ever happened prior to with, or, mm -hmm. are you? No, no, I've never kissed them. Or licked, have you ever, or licked the have you ever vagina used your room. hand to touch their vagina or beat their underwear? Um, but, no, um, okay, I gotta say, okay, that's a very, we do, we do cuddle sometimes. Okay. So what happens and maybe, during that cuddling? Well, usually my hand is up around in here, but yes. Okay. But maybe it's gone uh, down here, and she. Okay. And so was this on Friday, or was this? No, this is weeks. Then before. Like how how far before? 
I don't know. It's early April. I mean, say March, February. Yeah. Well, she likes to be cuddled that way. I mean, I get the and impression that she likes, are, yeah, little kids she are likes to that, be cuddled you know? that way and mm -hmm. with even with my hand down there and, mm -hmm. and she, the this cuddle time seems to quiet her mm -hmm. at that time. So So when you guys are cuddling your hand kind of just winds point. up. Okay. Down there. If any of our viewers right now have kids who go to daycare, we understand how strongly you must be feeling right now listening to this monster. Interestingly, the question of whether male caretakers should be allowed in daycares has been an ongoing debate for some time, which is why some daycares advertise that they have certified male child care workers. But, even so, you must converse with your toddlers about the interactions, the activities, and the games they play on a daily basis. Anyway, back to the video. While they have a lot of evidence against him, there could be more crimes which he hasn't confessed to yet. So, while one detective stepped out of the room, the second detective, who works on internet crimes against children, stepped in to talk about his addiction and work his way up to the confession of another crime. The one thing I'll ask you, and again, in the, in the same lines of, you know, honesty, have you ever taken any inappropriate photographs of no. I so, like, if we if we looked in your phone or on your computer, mm -hmm. there wouldn't be anything. No. Okay. Um, have you ever? Um, do you ever view, watch, download child pornography? Not child pornography. I mean, I've looked at what's considered porn of adult. Okay, but, that, that's but, fine. Obviously, but, but not child. No. Okay. Have you ever? So you've never gone on the internet and looked at pictures of children. And, and again, I know this is going to be uh, embarrassing and awkward. Have you ever masturbated to photographs of children that someone else might seem was inappropriate? Oh, uh, no, not. I mean, I, I've seen pictures of children naked. Mm -hmm. uh, now, do you, but, uh, a, after the, uh, the circumstances with that's something that maybe you think about later while masturbating? This is also kind of helping with that whole, you know, trying to understand the, the, the level of uh, addiction you might be suffering from with this um, and, you know, something that might, you know, down the road require, you know, what, what kind of assistance or help that, you know, could be to your aid. So, you know, like I said, after, if you're not, if you're not ejaculating or, you know, getting to that, that end, with them is that something that maybe later on in the evening you'll think about and then and then masturbate to hmm i don't know i mean i honestly have to think about that i mean i've masturbated in the shower when i take a shower sometimes but mm -hmm. i mean we're all guys we, we have a we have a thought in our head when and that might be going on. Is that something that you think about? Do they do they come up? Um, um maybe yes. Okay. Maybe maybe just this, but again, I don't. But no, they have never seen me naked. Okay, then that, that's fine. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just I mean, curious. Just what I've described here is the extent of the interaction with the, okay. with the girls. Okay, and that's it, that's good. Like I said, we we definitely have appropriate uh, touching. I totally agree. Okay. And is is this something that you feel like um, it's hard for you that oh, let's say that you know you you go back home and then tomorrow or do you feel like that you're unable to control yourself around? Do you just have that strong sexual urge when you're around her? Is it to that point? Or, like, how, how do you trust yourself with to not do this again? Or is it beyond that point? I think after today, after talking with you two, mm -hmm. I mean, after <sighs> admitting to myself and to you and... I'm going to have to go home and tell Carol, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. um, Especially it is a business that revolves around children. It's, 
is, and that's why I, my my biggest fear is I put that in danger. Mm -hmm. um, and and so yes, I will. <sighs> How do you think I, she's going to react? Is she aware of this demon? She is not. She is not. Uh, if she is, she hasn't. So you never told confided me, I mean, in anybody. Except never her confided in so that it's always been outside of her. I mean, I, I, when she's not in the room. Right. That, um. So I've never confided. It's, it's been very private between me. And okay. Uh, and 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 um. Yes. So they 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 talk to their mother about this. I'm sure. Um, but they, um, and I was, you know, it's been my fear, I guess, but they might. So, after today, yes, I can say that I, I, I will just have to avoid yeah. um, more than just, I mean, I can't avoid not, or I can't avoid touching the kids at all. I mean, because they're right. there. Yeah. They're running around and then picking them up they and run picking, up them and the picking them up and stuff like that is just part of the job, part of that. And again, is a, she she runs over and she likes, she likes to be picked up. I've noticed, seen pictures of her and, uh, with family and friends and she's always being picked up and held. Right. That's, 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 she, she's very, but, but I'm gonna, yes, I will, after, again, after the, today, mm -hmm. especially this is this fear is going to be in my head enough that I certainly is going to give me the willpower. I think to to stop mm -hmm. that behavior. Yes. On Tuesday, March third, twenty twenty, McFadden pleaded guilty to two counts of rape for the assaults on the girls. He was sentenced to 22 years in prison by Franklin County Common Pleas Judge Julie M. Lynch, who delivered a lengthy and emotional statement in court. This was how Terry McFadden got 22 years for S.A. of two girls. It is still a question of whether 22 years is a justified sentence or not, so let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. If you were the judge sentencing this madman, what sentence would you give?